Hello guys, today I would like to talk about the various changes that are continuously taking place in our lives. So did you ever notice that uh, when there are some changes in our life, um, be it a change of environment, uh, place of residence, admissions to a new educational institution, uh, workplace uh, and etc., you feel uncomfortable uh, and stressed in this case. So maybe after such change, um, you want to return everything as it was before, when you were comfortable and cozy. If so, um, I will tell you that you are not alone. This is the normal human reaction to an unknown environment. But uh, there is another part of us, right? It wants us to uh, comprehend something new, develop, um, self-actualize and uh, in general become better, healthier, more beautiful and more intelligent part of us. So, uh, but unfortunately the fear of the new closes the door of, for us uh, to this very path of self-development. And uh, here the question opens, what then is to be done? how to get on the right path and stop being afraid, right? Uh, I do not have an exact answer to this question, but I have an opinion and an idea. I believe that uh, first of all, you need to know the nature of our fear, uh, of the unknown and uh, striving for something great. Mm, namely, I want to talk about the biological aspects of this uh, phenomena and discuss uh, them. It's all about our brain. As you know, human is the most intelligent creature on the planet Earth, which appeared as a result of millions of years of evolution, right? And in the course of uh, this very evolution, our brain also developed and looked for ways uh, to survive and be safe. As a result, it turned out that a person has formed uh, three parts of the brain that help him to survive as efficiently as possible. Let's talk about them in more detail. So, uh, the first brain we have is the reptilian brain. This is the oldest part of our green matter. Uh, it was in the ancient reptiles, uh, that's why it's called like that. Uh, so, reptilian brain is uh, responsible for the most basic things, for our instincts, desire for reproduction, uh, food, self-preservation and uh, etc. It protects us uh, instinctively, for example, when we touch the cattle, we immediately withdraw our hand and we are almost unable to control this part of our brain. Moving on, uh, the second oldest brain in, is the limbic one, aka the brain of the mammals. And it's called so because it's present in all animals of this class, including humans. Uh, it's responsible for emotions, social relationships and uh, so on. So its job is to protect us from danger and to uh, satisfy, satisfy our demands on an emo emotional level. It's also very difficult for us to control it. It always tries to get momentally pleasure and um, does not uh, like to strain. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? So, uh, and finally, our ray of hope, the light that shows the way, our third brain, the neck cortex. Um, this is the youngest part of our brain. It's present in uh, some mammals like dolphins, but only in humans. It uh, makes up an, an impressive part of the brain. So, uh, neocortex is uh, responsible for our development, intelligence, speech, sensory uh, perceptions and the thinking in general. It thinks not only about the present, but also about uh, the future. With it, we are able to dream and uh, make plans for a happy life. We are able to control the neocortex, actually. I hope uh, that now you understand that the first two are responsible for fears and stress and uh, emotions and the third one, uh, third part of our brain, is responsible for our aspirations, dreams and hopes. This also applies uh, to procrastination. 
there is a confrontation between the parts of the brain and if we cannot take uh, control of emotions and uh, consciousness and the follow the lead uh, then the consciousness will be depressing actually uh, consequences will be depressing sorry uh, so uh, if you uh, first got into a showdown for example with some guys and uh, got scared then don't worry you're not a coward just two parts of your brain fighting the third and your entire nervous system thinking in such moment is almost unrealistic therefore um, you will almost like to be shocked in this case and it's sad of course but uh, for the next time you will not be at a loss as well as the first time and uh, will take some action in the second case um, it's experience actually i'm just uh, kidding about neocortex that is so helpful and kind uh, the other two parts of the brain are also very important actually after all if not them uh, there would be no instincts for self-preservation and you would not be watching this video now and i would not have recorded it and uh, in general humanity would hardly exist now the reptilian brain uh, limbic brain and the neocortex are equally important but we need to understand how they work and learn how to manage life by manipulating our brains. If you set uh, unattainable goals in a short time, and this is the work of uh, neocortex actually, you will end up with one more disappointment and uh, vice versa. If you neglect instinct, uh, also it's very difficult to do. Uh, you can get hurt and uh, do stupid things. There were species on earth that came extinct uh, simply because they did not have an instinct for the self-preservation. So you need to soberly access your capabilities and manage your time. I explained this concept so that you would understand when you are unreasonably afraid of something or uh, avoid doing something that will benefit you. You are driven by your instincts and emotions. I believe that by realizing this, you can fix the situation. Now, uh, I want to tell you a little about myself. You know, uh, when I graduated from school, I felt pretty good. All exams passed well. I go out with friends almost every day. Uh, and my useful maximalism gave me confidence in everything so uh, but when i got to the university everything changes dramatically uh, mostly myself i realized that uh, throughout my life changes were very difficult for me having found myself in a new environment and meeting so uh, many new people mostly my peers i was confused and uh, could not understand how to behave in addition the study in the first year of the university was very difficult and we experienced a lot of stress all the situation made me feel uncomfortable and uh, i uh, reluctantly and not realizing it began to avoid people I, I began to avoid people and kind of negative aura emanated from me. I have forgotten how to treat people kindly myself. I was lucky that some guys uh, still saw the real me and became my friends. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank them. So um, then continue until the end of the studies and I never learned how to feel uncomfortable with the new people again. But then quarantine came and uh, we all became uh, cut off the, from the society which actually only made my situation worse. I studied, then I started studying psychology, learned more about how our brain works. I began to communicate with people more often and simple topics and started joking with them. In the beginning it was rather difficult and awkward, but over time everything became easy. Now it is no longer difficult for me actually to approach a person and uh, there is nothing to be awkward for me. I can say even more, I realized that I have a uh, well-developed empathy and uh, I can understand the feelings of people. Um, and uh, what is the moral here? I know it's hard to get to the point of my words, but let me explain. 
the fact is that until I understood how our brain uh, work and uh, why I resist change so much, I could not cope with my problem. So the study of this material helped me a lot in the, my uh, further development, uh, actually. So I want uh, to say that change is the only thing that will always happen to us. So there is no point in running and hiding from them. You need to be able to accept them and change yourself. And in order to learn all this, you need to study the materials and knowledge that will help you, help you to understand your problem. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.